Hello, and welcome to another episode of Intune.Training, the place to learn how to use Microsoft Intune, the Steve and Adam Show, and Ben. Hey, guys! Hey, hey. Hey, Adam. Do you guys know what today is? Is it wear a suit to your, uh, to your side hustle day? Oh, uh, well... Uh, if this you know, is our side hustle, we're not making much money out of it. We are not. We are not. I, I, since we can't go to conferences, I figured I'd wear my nice MMS jazz, jazzy jacket. You know, spruce it up a little bit. Um, yeah. Steve, you look like you've been to a funeral, man. What's what's going on there, man? Oh, well, yeah. You told me to dress up. I'm dressed up. Look. Nice. My condolences. Up. Oh, that's nice. Did you put pants on or what? No. That's not. It's, it's one step too far. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and I've got the classy footwear, too. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> That is uh, that is typical newscaster wear right there. Perfect. Yeah, it is. Now, as, um, the, uh, as the permanent work from home person, I've got the only jacket that I own that's um, it's a little bit short, um, <laughs> but you know what? It's fine. It's he's had that jacket so long his arms have grown. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jeez. What do you still have a closet full of ch- children's clothes? We're gonna have to start calling him the uh, the Stephen Adams Show plus the intern. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll be okay maybe with that. Silly. Throws a beard and then we'll, we'll drop that. I like it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I had a bit for that. I just couldn't find it. If you grow a beard, you're going to be the intern. That's going to be yeah, it. That's fine. So, I can work yeah. on it. Well, so what's the what's the reason we're all dressed up here, guys? Any, any guesses? Um, well, we hit 10K. 10K? What is that? That's like, I'm not running a race. Whoa! What's going on? Are we drinking? Ben's excited. Are we drinking? Oh, what are we toasting oh, to? We uh, I don't know. So 10K, so 10,000 subscribers on our channel, and uh, yesterday, so today is July 10th uh, and July 11th for these guys, um, yesterday on uh, whatever, the July 9th, yes, was sorry. our, was the, was our, the uh, one year of 2019 was our one year anniversary um, of our first video for Into Not Training, the day that we launched. So, um, w- so we're going to celebrate and chat a little bit about uh, our history so cheers guys our way forward cheers cheers all right so oh well you guys are still drinking okay I bet you oh okay you're still drinking well oh okay well yeah all right I think we got a bit of a tape delay. You guys, we got to coordinate this better. Uh, tape? I thought this was digital. Uh, man, we didn't we didn't set up the key word. We have to take a shot every time. Whatever. Uh, every, oh, oh, we take a shot every time a demo fails tonight. How about that? Oh, I'm gonna get drunk. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm drunk. So uh, this is a this is going to be a, an informal uh, chat. Not we're not going to take too long. But um, thanks for joining us. If you if you are in on this one to um, help and help celebrate, um, thank you as the as the viewers as the subscribers. Uh, if you're thank watching you. this, thank you. Um, so I'd like to give a little bit of a history of how we got started and you know how this his, this whole thing took off and uh, really took us by surprise and. Uh, took the community by surprise, I think, as well. Um, so, so, so Steve and I started this. Ben's uh, been with us for several months now. Um, but so, so Steve, we were at well, we met oh, uh, in, in in Phoenix at the MMX yeah, MMS Phoenix. in Phoenix in 2018 for the yep. first time, and um, we hung out there and and started collaborating that next yep. year and started working on what has ended up turning into, or at least part of what has ended up. And Adam's <laughs> sessions just dropped. So what he was going to explain, <laughs> <laughs> what he was going to talk about was the, oh my God, uh, I gotta get a screech out of that. <laughs> the, the, the PowerShell CM environment, because uh, Adam's screen hung. And, there we go. All right. And, and pause, hopefully it was awesome. Pause, start over. Hey, no, no, no. Cut no, it, no, cut it, no. Cut it, no. All right, let's roll. No. Okay. And so because so, I started talking about the fact that we were collaborating on the um, the PowerShell, the PowerShell uh, config manager lab environment script that both of us wrote. And we built that out and we had that refactored for MOA. 
which was a lot of fun uh, and a lot of nights of just, oh, yeah, let's try this. No, that didn't work and, and working back and forth. Um, and then in Mulla, obviously, we hung out a lot uh, and had a bit of fun there and uh, we got talking around, well, how do we get Adam more involved in the Intune world? Yeah, that really is the conversation. That really was it, and um, it, it, so it was. So part of this deal is is um, my my company is still kind of on the cusp of moving into Intune, and so um, unlike folks in the consulting world where you kind of get to do more of the the cutting edge type things, I'm in a I'm an FTE, and so we move a little bit slower, and that's okay. You know, it's just it's part of part of the deal, and being in this space and looking at Intune all the time, looking at it and saying, I, win, I, I want to do this. I want to mess with it. I want to start. And not knowing where to start and everything, um, Steve said, hey, let's let's get you, let's figure it out. And um, that started a conversation around how could we bring the community on my journey to yeah. Intune? And that's really kind of how this was birthed. <laughs> And and so we, we were at dinner the last night of uh, Moa and um, Steve said, hey, when we get back, we should do a podcast on on Intune, just Intune. Yeah, There's plenty of config manager stuff. Let's do a podcast on Intune. And so we, I said, yeah, that sounds that sounds terrific. And I, a couple of days later, he sends me a sends me a meeting request and we get on and he says, here, let me share my screen. So he shares. And he's got a OneNote with <laughs> a list of topics and uh, a plan for Intune.training. We didn't have a name at that time. Nope. And um, and I said, wait a second, uh, Steve, I thought we were just going to do like one video, um, not like a, a weekly thing. And he says, oh, no, 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 we're going to, this is a thing. Let's do it. And I waffled back and forth a little well, bit. Well, well, from my side, it was, we can't do it justice in one video. We really yeah. couldn't. Well, it, 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 there was so much we had to talk about, and and you're like, all oh, right, right, and, and and what I remember is Adam getting t basically turning around to me and going, oh, I'm going to get in trouble from the wife. I'm too busy with all of this community work. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and she still gets mad at me every Friday night when I say, okay, I put the kids to bed, and now I get to go spend uh, a couple hours on recording uh, videos. So. Uh, and so for for almost every week for the last yep. for the last year, 52 weeks, um, we had a couple of we've we've doubled up on some recordings when we knew we were going to be out of town or um, when we got you know, whatever stuff going on. But we've tried to be pretty consistent and release a video once a week. I think we missed one or two weeks where we uh, during the holidays where we just we, we just didn't feel like people were going to be watching them anyway. And so it was a good. You know, um, and we of, also broke our recordings at that point. Yes, yes, we yeah, did. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Um, and so we just kind of started, and we didn't know what we were doing. And if you've if you've watched more than the first video and got even you know, the further you've gotten in, the worse the quality got before it got better. Uh, we yep. started screwing around. So, if you, what I've learned about Steve is Steve is a, a a tech gearhead, and he loves all the fun bits. And so he built this whole recording studio at his office with a camera yep. and all the OBS and a separate computer and all these things and just went to town with it. And I was trying to keep up and trying to be cheap <laughs> and it just didn't happen. And so if you get to somewhere around, I don't know, one of the episode 14 or 15 or something where we recorded a full, full episode and you can't hardly hear Steve because he screwed up OBS yet again. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we know you can't hear it. <laughs> we know it's in the description even. Sorry. The quality sucks. Um, but, but it's been a fun journey for us to, and, and if you're watching this now, we're still just recording in teams. We, we decided that we felt that the, that the content was more important than the showiness and the flashiness of the channel. And okay. we, there is, there is something you said for production quality of like, we need to make sure our screens are zoomed properly so you, so the people are, can actually see what we're talking about. Yeah, we get that, and we're, we're learning still. Um, but it looks great on our huge monitors when we're doing it. it we, what, oh. uh, surely, but yeah, we get it. We know. Um, so, you know, having a blast doing it, and uh, I, I mean, I hope that 
if you if you followed since the beginning or if you're just now getting plugged in and you've made it this far um, that you've seen the uh, I mean I've learned in tune as we've taught yep. in tune as we've recorded these things many times we have hit record and Steve says hey we're gonna do this and it will be <laughs> my very first look at the things yeah. that we're doing and, and that's intentional. And so Adam Absolutely. is asking the questions you're going to be asking. Um, and, and I think, this is um, <laughs> yeah, it is. I think I think the perfect example of that is when we did the first uh, advanced threat hunting, which we yes. later turned out was not advanced at all, and we weren't hunting any threats. But uh, no. going in and just seeing uh, that we could get into that console uh, and you know just just dig around that blew my mind because. Very much like Adam, I don't care about security. It's the least, it's the last thing I want to think about. But that we can use those applications outside of just security is incredible. And yeah. being able to learn that on screen, I think that's uh, it's a real fun way to do it. Yes, it is. And and so we've you know we've gotten a fair amount of feedback, comments. I mean, the comments have been across the board have been Pretty wonderful and Adam. motivating and hilarious, informative. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we. I take screenshots and send them to people every time we get a good one. Uh, now we're going to really get a lot more. Um, but uh, some of the comments have become memes internally for us because we just we appreciate the comments. We appreciate the feedback. The number of people that have said to us, I, my company just said we're doing Intune, and I started I started watching your videos, and you have just. I, I've paid for training and none of it comes close to what you guys are producing. Those are the types of comments that we, we've gotten that have been hugely motivating to keep doing what we're doing, to sacrifice the time to put this together to for the community. And, um, it, you know, without without knowing the community is appreciating it, I mean, it's it's hard to say, oh, well, oh, we got two more two more views yesterday or something like yeah. that. It's not about the views. But the views and the subscribers are are kind of the only metrics that we know, you know, that we get to let us know if if people are even looking and watching and and using the stuff that we're producing. So, um, so some of the, you know, let's talk a little bit about our kind of our our favorites or a little bit of the highlights of what this past year has been. I mean, so we have we've had numerous guests. So we've had several Microsoft MVPs. We got to host an MVP roundtable at the end of the MVP, the virtual MVP summit. Just so kind of winged that, that awesome. one. Um, we've had uh, several of the Microsoft um, folks on. So Mike, uh, Mike Niehaus and uh, Matt Shadbolt from Intune. Uh, just had, uh, we I had Dune. Dune. Yeah, that's right. Dune from the Config Manager team. And uh, yeah. he was our first, first guest, which was yep. awesome uh, when we were at MMS Jazz. And then we yeah. recently had... Um, uh, Riley from uh, yep. from the um, what's the what's this, the the Dart team Dart team the Microsoft yes. Dart team Dart and we've got feelers out for additional uh, guests for season two yep. and Kathy. I, hey come on Kathy we're waiting <laughs> <laughs> we're not calling you out Kathy but yeah, come yeah. on <laughs> um, we're all on the email <laughs> so those are I mean that to me that's some of the really really cool stuff where um, like. I mean, I'll, just, I'll throw this one out there. Matt Matt messaged me and yeah. said, "Hey, I watch your channel. Can can I come and talk about this stuff?" And I mean, wow. That, 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 was, that was after he told us that we got the video wrong the first time. <laughs> yeah. Completely. But the same with Riley when he was just like, "You guys talked about advanced threat hunting. You did not do that. Can I come on and correct?" Like, and all we did was said, perfect. "Hey, thanks." Thanks for watching. We didn't know you were watching. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And, and that's the most important thing is if you're wanting to come on and get involved, just reach out. <clears throat> because people out there might not know what you know about that technology. So, I mean, and this it's... isn't just to the product group. This is people in the community. If you want to come on, hit us up. We've had the likes of uh, Ben and Leon in... Um, Oh, that's okay. right, man. Oh, I'm so so sorry, guys. I told. Oh, yes, yes. He's uh, not sorry. The UK guys. <laughs> oh, we do need to get you guys back on. Yeah, you better come. Bring your tech skills next. Um, yeah, yeah. We, we promised need that. To talk about um, uh, Android. Android. 
Yeah, yeah I was going to say Adobe. That's how much it's interesting. <laughs> well, and so while we're talking about kind of our, you know, looking back at our favorite things, so so Ben had a great idea. So Ben, uh, uh, let's talk about the clip show. Yeah, sure. So as part of this retrospective, I, I really, really wanted to just go through all of the videos that we've done. And I know it's not a lot, but it's a lot of content. Uh, so I wanted to go through and just find the just the chef kiss primo moments of when demos fail, when uh, when Adam uh, introduces the training video as a place to learn how to use Teams, just all the the really, really good uh, choice Adam moments morning, when we're talking about Apple. And Adam yawning. I actually so got a what fantastic you're is, screenshot. Uh, you know what? I missed this originally. We're, this is going to be a make fun of Adam video. I get it. It's fine. I it's don't fine. know what you're talking about. I do no, not know fine. what you're talking about. What about that time when uh, when my uh, amazing webcam that was my Android <laughs> phone that was going through Droid Cram X and it ran out of battery <laughs> and I continued and you guys were straight faced the entire time? Like things like that. It's just perfect. So, okay. I wanted to do that for this retrospective. We all sort of turned around and said, too hard. I don't want to do it. So not that we said it was too hard. We just didn't prioritize it. And we were too much too time. Busy. Too much timing. Okay. So too many timing. Too, too many timing. So uh what I want to do is I want to do a call out to anyone that's watching, any of our subscribers, anyone on Twitter, because we'll put this up as well. If you can go through and find a funny moment of this, tag it and send it to us either through comments on Intune or through Twitter or however you want to get it to us. Um, what we're going to do is we'll, we'll keep pigeons it open for. A... Yeah, what? sure. Carrier pigeons. Carrier pigeons. Yes, pigeons. absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. So um, the the link to the video, or at least the episode number and a timestamp of the segment, exactly. and, and and a quick description of what what you're calling out. Yeah. So we'll keep it we'll keep it open for a couple of weeks, just so that uh, you know we get we get enough time for people to go through well, and have a look. Let's say by the end of August. Sure. Well, by the end of August. That's perfect. So once we get all that, we'll we'll compile everything together. We'll you know put some Benny Hill music in the background or something like that, and we'll just put it up. Um, you will not learn anything about Intune, but you will learn that uh, it doesn't take much to do uh, a video series like this. Um, you just have to have an idea, and you just have to uh, you know want to keep doing it basically. Um, so sense. hopefully we can do that, and uh, hopefully you guys want to uh, be part of that. Yes. So uh, yeah, so check the description. We'll have some info on on more the details on what we're looking for there. But we are reaching out to you as the community to help us with that if you're interested. Uh, we'd really appreciate it. And, and even <laughs> I'll add I'll add to it. If you want to if you want to scroll through the comments and grab your your favorite uh, either good or or funny you know good or bad comments. If you want to get some uh, gra whatever you want to do or even send us a note if you want to send us a note and tell us how this has impacted you. Mm -hmm. I think that would even be great as well. Just awesome give us too. a give us a quick you know a couple sentences on you know hey this is this is how we're um, you know how this is, has worked for me. Um, if you want to put it as comments on this video or send it as you know however you want to get it to us. Um, we're just like always we are winging this, but we feel like um, you know it's something it'd just be fun something to pull together there if we can make that happen. So uh, help us out there if you if you feel so inclined. Awesome. Exactly. Awesome. Um, man, I had I thought I had something else. Oh, Ooh, so, so st statistics. Let's talk statistics yeah. a little bit here, Stephen. Um, uh -huh. so we have my favorite about, part about this, my favorite part about this, Adam, is that you're the data man, but we're going to get Steve to show up some stats. Yeah, hang on. Let me just get my Power BI out here, Mr. Intern. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before he get before Steve gets into this, let's at least I, I want to say this. Uh, I mean, I kind of said it before. Uh, so we are. This is not about numbers for us. This is nope. the numbers are the way for us to know how we're doing in relate. You know, it's who's watching what? What we're doing? Yeah, how, yeah. Are we doing well? Do you like what we're putting out? What what's your what's the content you're looking for? Um, and but YouTube has an incredible amount of statistics and stuff, and so we want to share those a little bit with you and let you kind of see what we get to see um, and the stuff that helps motivate us. Definitely. Just um, avoid so, showing the just avoid showing the revenue source because we don't want people to see how much money we make off this. Oh we yeah, so we we should we should point that out as well. Uh, we are committed to being a um, completely. Un, uh, un I'm, I'm actually going to show this. 
There is we no did just sign up for monetization, but it's because there's a feature that I want to enable and it requires you to sign up for monetization. We have no intention of ever putting ads or sponsored any you know, any types of sponsored content on our channel. We feel like it, that degrades the um, the quality and we don't want to do that. It puts it into question on why we're doing what we're doing. Um, now it's heavily Microsoft because, well, that's what we're that's what we do. Um, yep. But it doesn't mean that Microsoft's the only you know thing for you to use. It's just it's the one that we want to share. If you want to learn about other things, go watch other channels. Exactly. We're, we're specialists in this technology, and that's why we're talking about it. That's yeah. the big thing. <laughs> yeah. That's the really important thing. We're not here to make money out of it, um, other than through our day jobs. Is the simple. However, story. Mobile Iron is one of the greatest uh, management tools. <laughs> Come on, come on, Altiris. It's all about Altiris. <laughs> and I've got to go and package this application in uh, Wisesoft. Yes. Hell yeah. So continue. Right, so Show me stats. The tape. What are the numbers telling us, man? All right. So what we've got here is a really high-level look at what video is the most popular. And believe it or not, it's our first video. The worst one. One of the worst ones that we actually released. So these blue and green lines is, uh, are our first and second videos. And predominantly across the whole lifespan have been the most popular videos by a factor of 20 by the look of it. It's just insane. Like every, every week they get more and more views per week than the, pre, than the newly released videos. It's insane. Yep. Do, you, do you think that's because there's so many people that are just starting um, and that they just they hit, you know, uh, 0101 and just go from there? Or Definitely. I think, that's yeah. a, I think that's part of it. And I think that, um, I mean, if you go to Google and you search for Intune training, yeah, it, it we show up, and these are those these are the suggested videos uh, that we get. So, I yeah, guess does it come up in Bing? Oh, sorry, we should go to Bing. Let's <laughs> see right there. I mean, you're getting the suggested video to go to the yeah to the first the first video there. So, yep. Yeah. So, oh, wow. I mean, so it's it's. I mean, look, we beat out Udemy, and that's paid. I mean, we only. Don't beat out Pluralsight because they're it's an ad word in Google. Sure, Not but all. hey, Udemy, give us a call. Wait, 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 wait. So scroll on. So we are above. Yeah, so we're, we're above <laughs> Microsoft and Udemy and LinkedIn uh, and Tech Community. Wait, that's me. Wait, that's ours. <laughs> it's Tech Community, but it's a post that I made. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, but this is where. We've just been blown away by how popular the series is. And probably, I think the thing that we need to actually call out on that, Adam, is the sheer happenstance on our domain name. Yeah, oh, good. We spent, what, two hours sitting there and bouncing through all of these joke domain names. And oh, Lord. <laughs> and we didn't know dot .training was a domain that we could get because we were trying... We tried like well we 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 almost ended up with Intune dot ninja, um, yes. and because that one's that's one that you can get. <laughs> yep. um, uh, but yeah, this we just we just spent quite a large amount of time bouncing ideas around trying to find a domain name, and we finally said, well, this will work because this is yep. until Microsoft changes the name, and then they did. They you know went with Mem, and then we we. We missed that opportunity. Everybody bought up all the MIM, MIM domain names, so we're sticking with Intune Training. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And also, we can't rename our tenant because it's IntuneTraining.unmicrosoft.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But even in um, YouTube now, we have a our, we have a custom channel name in YouTube, so it's just YouTube slash C slash Intune Training. Oh, and and, and we right. also have this one. Okay. Or just. Oh. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> I dot T. Yeah. <laughs> we have a guy on the inside now. <laughs> um oh, oh and and yes, engine training. Just all of them. Oh look. Plastered. I'd like to I'd like to thank uh Riley for for helping us Thanks, out with Riley. that one. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes. I'm disappointed that the Steve Jobs one is gone. I just want to put that yeah. out there. I, I, I am too. <laughs> All right. So so let's look in let's look at some of the numbers here. I don't want to drag this out too long. No. Um, so the, the three big ones are the first three videos, surprisingly. But not surprisingly. But this one here is the one that just blows my mind. How to enroll an Apple iOS into Intune is number four. That just shows how popular it is. And I think this is the one where we have um, Adam yawning in the middle of it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you can see a spike in the video traffic right, <laughs> right at that right at that point. Yeah, that's the most – people go back and rewatch that section over and over. Yep. yep. I mean, look – the, the takeaway here is there are a lot of iOS devices out there, um, and yeah. especially in the corporate space, even though they're arguably not a corporate device, um, but yeah, what not. mobile phone is really. Um, so, yeah, like exactly. I, I, I do understand that. And you know what? It's kind of difficult to get them enrolled. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that video is, is good. Mm -hmm. um, and probably, all right, so Adam, which one was the most painful video for us to actually do? Freaking Windows Hello for Business. Um, where does, where does it fall into the actual list? Using it's, Windows Hello for Business? Uh, uh, yeah, that one, 20, episode 20. So it's it's still uh, in the top uh, list. So it's 7,500 7, views. So so, yeah. um, so the story, if you haven't watched that one, it is painful to get through, but it was painful yeah. to make. Um, we just really, really struggled to make this work. And we spent... So we recorded this one three times. Uh, yep. or together we recorded it twice, and then we I did a third one solo that we appended. We had yeah. a lot of good discussion in the first round, and really the second, the six hour a, a version of it. We we literally recorded for six hours because I said wow. I'm going to get yep. it, and let's just wait. And we never got it. And then um, I finally <laughs> was able to sort it out and do a 30 minute or 45 minute uh, version of it, but. That one still blows people away when they say, wait, I don't know you could do that. Wait, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, that's awesome. And I mean, I love that. That's, that's really cool. Yeah, if, so if you haven't enabled hybrid key trust for Hello for Business in your environment, do it now. It is going to make your users so much happier. And it is a simple, simple process, sort yep. of. <laughs> simple <laughs> with a big asterisk up there. Yeah, so long as your environment's healthy and consistent and you don't try and repeat, create, recreating it three times. <laughs> so, um, um, so Steve, the, the uh, thing I like about this is, so if we look at the total watch time, um, yes. I couldn't pull, I, YouTube doesn't give you a, a list of the, the, the total minutes of video that we have. Um, no. I couldn't, it doesn't exist. Um, oh, like what we've recorded? Yeah, like how much yeah, have we uploaded? What we've we actually released. Videos. How sure. long, how, how many minutes total do we have? I don't know. But that number, 52,000 uh, watch hours, turns into six years of watched, of watched time on our channel. For 50 videos in the last year, we've, yep. we've produced six years worth of, you know, People have content. watched six years worth of yeah. our content. Um, People have wasted six years of their lives listening to us talk. Yes. Not wasted. Wasted is a bad word to use. <laughs> We've enriched people's lives for six years. <laughs> and that's like continuous year. Like that's just yeah. the yeah. clock going. I, I was, you know, we talked about this before uh, separately, but the thinking about how – how many conferences or user groups you'd have to speak at continually on the same topic to get the same impressions as a single video uh, is yeah. getting. So 60, 63,000 views, 9,000 hours of watch time on one, on setting up your Intune Trinit. We could have spoken every week all year, or, you know, for the past year on that one topic to try to can you do that for the same number of people that have been able to see this and completely i think this is so, a great i guess my point is the video the video content here really is a, a, an amazing uh platform for us to be able to work from so so to put it into context uh that is the equivalent of 55 uh, sorry sorry 550 thousand 
minutes watched on that first video. Wow. That's crazy. And that's a one hour video. Yeah. I do I do just want to point on this because I was I was I've had this conversation quite a few times over the last couple of weeks that um that you know the the uh situation we find ourselves living in at the moment, uh the unfortunate circumstances. Um it, you know, it kind of sucks because I don't get to see my yep. friends as much and I don't get to hang out with you guys as much. Um, I really, really need to get over to Texas as soon as we can, uh, as soon as we can travel. Yes. But um, so 2022. One of the, yeah, yeah, 2023. One of the um, disadvantages uh, of that is obviously we don't get to do face-to-face things, but the huge increase in collaboration and just community involvement in uh, digital conversations. So things like YouTube and just like user groups are now getting so many more people involved. Yep. Uh, Steve and I uh, are part of a Sydney based uh, M365 user group that uh, if we did it in person, we'd probably maybe what, maybe get 15 five? to 20 people. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I was being, yeah. So not that many You're being people. generous. Every month we're getting around 60 people from yep. all over the world joining the weirdest times for them and they're joining in because the content is good and they can. The only yep. thing we're missing out on is being able to catch up in person and have a beer. Like that's, that's it. Right. Um, I just did, I just did a Dutch PowerShell user group. I was up till 1am to present. I didn't get to bed till 4am, but the content was amazing. And I would have missed out on that if, if, yep. you know, it, uh, yeah, I just can't stress enough that like the stuff that we're doing on YouTube and just being able to do this sort of stuff is incredible. And I really hope that uh, people see this and go, conferences are great. There's value in them. But this digital stuff, it's fantastic. It really opens the doors for involvement. Yep. And, and the big thing that I would stress around that is we could sit here and teach one person this once. Like I could have sat there and I could have taught Adam how to use Intune and not put the videos together. But yeah. then I would have had to have taught Ben how to do it. And then I would have had to have taught how dare everybody you? else. Well, I you know, the you best that. part is I get to just <laughs> go back still, and watch the videos later yeah. when I need to learn how to do it for real. Yeah. yeah. I, I still remember having arguments with Ben about enrolling devices into Intune for Autopilot instead of Windows Store for Business when they changed it. Oh, my God. I'm still having that conversation. Let's not get into that. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so let's talk a little bit about Season 2. So, okay. um so I've been I've been tossing out this idea, and I honestly don't have any. We, huh, time is the precious commodity that is just incredibly difficult to come by. But yep. we're we want to keep doing what we're doing. But I think we've got an opportunity for. So number one, in the past year, a lot of things have changed. Tons of things. Monthly, mm-hmm. in tune is. I mean, we are having a hard time keeping up with how things are moving. Yep. Um, by the time you see this video, the the Intune portal will just about be moved out of Azure and be done. Um, yep. And you will now be using endpoint.microsoft.com. Well, uh, because Steven was stubborn, I couldn't get him to stop using that for most of our videos. Um, and so, I'm sorry. so all the old videos are <laughs> all the old videos tell you to go to this thing that's not going to exist in a month. And yep. um, so we would like to start not fully re-recording the entire, like we don't want to just start all over, but we do feel like there's some value in revisiting some of the major changes on each of the topics to say, okay, yeah. you know, is it, is it worth, worth it enough to re-record this particular thing? But in doing that, I mean, it's pretty time consuming. So I'm throwing yes. out this idea that uh, the, my, my working title is 10 minute tune ups. So tune being in tune, 10 minute in tune up. Very good joke. Right. Very yeah. good joke. So the capital, no, no, lower, come on. Apostrophe. <laughs> tea um so a 10 minute tune-up and a 10 minute tune-up would be something like pick a topic and we revisit it as maybe as a solo solo recording where one of us just does a quick demo of here's here's how you do this just if you want to get through it quickly without all the discussion you've already watched the video with discussion but here's the major things that have changed something along those lines so if if you've got some ideas for topics that you feel like maybe we need to recover um, or you want some clarification on, I think that would be a great opportunity for some of those things. Um, yep. Doing a video, I, hard to, it's hard to cover a ton of ground doing yep. one video a week. Even, I mean, it's quick. It's a, 
one video a week is tough. It's a lot of work to just do that. And yeah. yet we still are moving at a snail's pace trying to keep up with the amount of stuff we need to push out and the amount of stuff that you can consume. So that's something that's kind of that we're kind of thinking about. Um, we also plan to keep doing what we're doing just to keep you know working working the way we're doing it. I've I've thrown out the idea of trying to do Intune.training live somehow, you know, doing a for that. basically a user group where we just do this and just answer questions and um, whatever. So I don't know, things like that. So let us know what you think on that and let us know kind of what you would what you're looking for in our in the channel. Sometimes we're going to just tell you no, because I mean, we've had that. We've had some suggestions on you know, maybe do less talking and just more demo. And I just keep saying, maybe just go read the docs then, because that's not what we're doing. Um, yeah, well, the, I think the other one that we've had is Wi-Fi and VPN. And, and we, we do appreciate you. that is a, a very topical component that a lot of people want to talk about. But it's just really hard for us to set up a full lab for Wi-Fi and or VPN, VPN. for a one hour video. Yeah, uh, and I think on on that and, uh, Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi is the hardest thing to to complete uh, as as a remote worker and and yeah. doing this sort of stuff. It is the only thing that you need to be physically uh, on site to do. So yep. it's tricky, and, but it's not hard and to every set up. Environment's different. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but yeah, so I, I completely agree with Steve. Like VPN and Wi-Fi is one of those. Like we could potentially just talk about the settings. But showing you how to implement it, it's it's you know it's different for every single client. Yep. Every single environment. So I, I want to show you something, guys, that I think is pretty funny. Uh, Do it. Let me just quickly uh, set up my desk. Um, so I'm going to quickly share a web browser, being Internet Explorer. Exploder. Yes. Yes. Because. We're using Internet Explorer because we're going to go to the Silverlight portal, right? Remember that? Mm -hmm. We, we had to go to manage.microsoft.com. If we go to manage.microsoft, so this is the old Intune portal. So if we go, Stephen. Uh, Wintune. Wintune. Wintune broke. And uh, we put in our password and we're not going to stay signed in. This used to go to the Silverlight portal. But now when we go there, what it's actually going to do is go to the Azure portal. It's like, well, that's so not supposed direct. to do that. So what's happened is the Silverlight portal has now been deprecated. And you now get this prompt to say, did you know Intune MDM is built into Windows 10? So use it. Don't use the legacy PC client. But if you that's really fantastic. need to use the legacy PC client, you can go in here and you can tick it and all of that, but you can't because it's disabled <laughs> on the tenant. Oh, that's so good. Um, hey, Steve, I actually know a couple of people that I need to show this to. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to make it this far in this video, Steve. I know. But Remember that time where in, video, in the first episode I said, yeah, two people are going to watch this? <laughs> yes, I still remember that. We still get comments on that. Thank you, everybody. We understand we were wrong. 65,000 views later. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, but I just thought this was really interesting. And, and this is the rate of progress that's happening with Microsoft and Intune. Yeah. Is that it's always these changes are coming through. And you have to understand that when we release a video, that's at that point in time. If it changes, it's not our fault. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. Also, no. also, it's impossible for us to go back and edit a video once we've published it. So it is what it is, and we just yeah. leave them up for posterity, and you can skip through if you don't. Um, and exactly. before we close out, I would, I would also like to point out, I know I've tweeted this before, but um, uh, Mark... Mark, thank you. Mark Good Aldridge um, has his is he's from he's from your your neck of the woods, right, Steve? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's Sydney. Um, so Mark volunteered early on in this project and said, "Hey, if you guys need somebody to do um, timestamps and indexing of your videos, put your table of contents in your videos, be more than happy to do that for you." Um, and so he picked up at a point in time and started moving forward with. So some of the earlier stuff still doesn't have. Uh, come on, get on it, Mark. Um, but uh, 
So if, if anybody wants to put some indexes, just shoot us a note and tell us, hey, yeah. I did indexes and we'll, we'll add them to the thing. Um, I think the first person who did it just added it as a comment on the, the video. But um, anyway, thank you very, very much, Mark. You yep. have significantly um, bettered the channel just by adding those things in. That was one of the most requested things right mm -hmm. out of the gate. Uh, for the the channel and so from the bottom of our heart thank you thank you mark yes, thank uh, one you. day i'll get to thank meet you. you so thank you <laughs> guess um, you will come over to sydney you just go yeah. watch out for all the spiders and snakes and yeah. stuff yeah but we, we, we don't really have the coronavirus so it's all good oh, so I'm, come gonna, on. I'm gonna come Let's and get, get a selfie with a kangaroo and then send it to bruce yeah, just punch a kangaroo. It'll be beautiful. Well, and, and we should probably shout out Bruce because he's helped us a lot at the start as well. He was doing the producer role and everything associated um, and also has been a very good sounding board for all of this. Yeah. Yes. Hey, remember when I was the producer for a couple episodes? Yeah. And, and you fell asleep at the wheel. We've tried to I block that out. It was awful. I was going to ask you, Steve, hey, who was that guy who did a really bad job? Was that Ben? Um, <laughs> Yes. And now look what you've done. <laughs> You're an intern. It's good. Yeah, exactly. I'm still not on the title card. It's fine. You can you can yeah, get rid of right. me whenever you want. That's yeah. because you're the 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 intern. I, I feel like a beard's coming. Beard. I feel like it's I feel like it's happening. Come on. It needs to be big and bold before you get to lose the intern title. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> All right. Well, this was supposed to be a 10 minute thing. And as always, we have well, well blown that. Um, but that's okay. It's under an so, hour, Adam, so that's all good. Yeah, there you go. And some of that's buffer even from early talk. So um, anyway, as always, we talk because we like to talk. This is what we do. We enjoy this stuff. And if it's not obvious, then we're missing it because we really do enjoy this stuff. We really do enjoy just talking about this stuff. When we are not doing this, you should see our WhatsApp. Well, I mean, one of the WhatsApp channels. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, this is what we do all day. We, we chat back and forth about this stuff. And, um, you know, we just enjoy it. So we hope that you get to enjoy it with us as well. Um, so thank you for sticking with us through this. Uh, one more toast. My glass is in, almost empty. We'll, so um, is mine. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I can do this. You got a four pack, didn't you? Go to town. Yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> cheers, guys. And thank you, everyone. Cheers. See you in the next video. Later, boys. I still don't know where to stop recording this.